Hey, what is up guys? How's it going? This is Fergie here, back from A Squad Gaming, and today we are going to take another look at Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video guides. Today, as promised, we're going to take a look at zombies. Now, later on, we're going to look at more intricate videos and things that might require a higher round or a little bit higher skill level, but today, we're going to start with something pretty simple. Maybe for those of you who haven't played a lot of zombies yet or haven't played any zombies yet, maybe you don't even have the game, or maybe you just want to see a quicker method to get into the perks and spending less money and things like that. Today we are going to look at all six perks, their locations, how to turn them on, as well as the fastest ways to get to all of them with spending as little money as possible. So let's jump right into things here with Quick Revive. Now, Quick Revive is the first obtainable perk in every single Zombies map ever, I believe. Now, it is right in the spawn area of this game, and it is very easy to get just like almost every other Zombies map thus far. It's actually easier than a few in the past. Now, for those of you who don't know, there are these purple lanterns around the map, and using these lanterns will turn you into the Beast. The Beast, if you've played the Alcatraz map in Black Ops 2, is very, very similar to the Electric Man form you can take. It's basically the form of electricity in the game, and it also does a lot of great things, which we'll show you later on here in the video, like grapple, and it also has a very good melee and a very quick revive, so keep that in mind. Um, quick revive is located right here in the spawn, and all you have to do is shock a generator right next to it in order to power it on and use it. Now, after you exit the starting area, you're going to be faced with a large kind of circular shaped area. Now, in this area, we're going to be able to pick up stamina up very, very quickly right on the opposite side. You don't have to buy any doors, and all you have to do is run to the other side of the area, power on stamina up, and there you go, you have it. You can get that whenever you need it. Very, very easy to pick up, which means quick revive and stamina up are obtainable right off the bat. You can be on round one, two, or even three to get any of these perks. Also in this starting area, we have three districts we can branch off into. We have the canal district, we have the waterfront district, and we have a downtown sort of area with a lot of cars called the footlight district. Now, each of these three areas is going to have a specific perk inside. However, every game, the perk that's in this certain area is going to change. It could either be double tap, it could be sleight of hand, or it could be juggernaut. Thankfully, there is a way to see which perk is located where based off of a small broken bottle system in front of the area before you buy the door. If the bottle is red in front of the door, you're going to have jug in that area. If the bottle is yellow, you're going to have double tap. And obviously, if the bottle is green, you're going to have sleight of hand. This is going to save you a lot of time and a lot of money because you'll know where you want to go. And you can also see the beam from the mystery box in all three of these areas. Now, if you head into the waterfront district first, there's going to be a very easy way to pick up the perk. Now, all of these ways do involve using the beast. First things first, we're going to go beast mode and we're going to grapple up to this hook right above this bridge. Afterwards, you're going to make sure you turn on the power on the stairway system that allows you to go back down to the entrance, and you're going to power on whichever perk happens to be located in that area that you're going for. Now, for us here, it's Juggernaut, and I'm kind of looking around doing nothing, but I'm just giving you an overview of the area. Here's the perk right here. You're going to power that on, and there you go. You have complete access to that. To reach that after exiting beast mode, you're going to simply run forward, run up the stairs, and go right into the room on your left in order to reach that specific perk. So this is going to save you a whole bunch of money. You can actually access every perk in the game by only opening this, the, uh, the starting area and three doors afterwards to get into the three specific footlight, waterfront, and canal districts. So very, very cheap in order to earn all of the perks in the game. Obviously, you're going to need a little bit more money to get them, but that's a different story. Next, we'll take a look at the footlight district, and just like the previous area, all we need to do is go into the area, use beast mode with the purple lantern, and grapple up to the hook right above our heads. This is going to throw us up into this balcony where we can purchase or turn on the sleight of hand perk or whichever perk it happens to be for you, as well as the exit stairs located right there. Now, as you can see here, I'm going to show here in a minute, you do save an insane amount of money by using this grapple method. I actually played through this game many, many times without knowing about this grapple method and spent a whole bunch of money and really died quite often because I actually wasn't able to get to all the perks I needed and the mystery box at the same time. So this method is going to save you a lot of money, a lot of time. You can see here, I would have had to buy at least two or three more doors in order to get up to this area. So make sure you're using this. It's going to save you a lot of money, a lot of time, and ultimately get you a lot farther in zombies in general. Now the final area we look at is the canal district. For me here, I actually had to start a different game because my footage wasn't quite good enough, but all we're basically going to do is use beast mode right inside the entrance, run under this bridge, grapple up to this hook, and you're actually going to run directly under that archway instead of heading this way. I'm actually going that way to turn on the exit, but the perk is actually right here under the arch that you'll grapple to, and the exit you have to run a little bit this way and turn that on right there, and you can come right up those stairs by the entrance in order to access that perk. So. All three of these initial perks can be accessed by simply buying the door into the respective area they're in, and Stamina Up and Quick Revive can be accessed by buying even less doors. So like I said, all these perks easily obtainable here. Now you have access to all three of the areas. You know where each perk is located and how to know which perk is located where. 
Now there are actually two more perks in this game. We have both Mule Kick and a perk called Widow's Wine, which is actually new to this game. And there are three ways to access these perks. We basically have to go to an area called the Rift. Now if you see these doors around the map, what you need to do is you need to go Beast Mode, and you need to open them up. Here we are in the Waterfront District. We're going to show you the location of all three entrances to the Rift. You're going to melee them open with the Beast, and then you're going to hold X to open up the actual entrance. This is going to allow you to go right into the Rift, which we'll show you here in a minute. Now in the canal district, there is an entrance, like I said, eventually once you have all three portals open, you will have three different ways out of the rift and three different ways into the rift, which is very, very helpful when you're in a kind of a sticky situation where you're just trying to run trains or get away from the boss, etc. The entrance to the rift in the canals is located actually in the canal, down in the waters. So you just have to take the stairway down. All of these entrances can be accessed with the same amount of doors that you need to get perks. So again, very, very cheap in order to get all of the perks in the game. Same difficulty as getting all of the others as long as you know what you're doing. In the Footlight District, the final entrance to the rift is located just off of this circular area in the starting area, and you're just going to open that up, and then finally you will have three entrances into the rift, which will make things a lot easier on you in the long run. Now once we enter the rift, we're going to have to first complete a little challenge. Now, if you haven't seen these guys yet, they're a major part of the story, but these shadow people, these red shadow people out of these red clouds, are going to need to be taken down. They're fairly weak and there aren't very many of them, and they're not going to respawn very soon after you kill them or any time recently unless you're doing anything involving the easter egg or going for the pack-a-punch. However, this area is now clear once you've killed them. Now there is one purple land in this area, and there are two perks. We're going to show you the locations of both. As soon as you come out of the rift, you're going to run down the stairs and take a left, and you will see Widow's Wine. As you saw in the beginning of the video, I was using Widow's Wine. Basically what it is, is if someone hits you, or if you hit them, it's going to freeze them in place with spider webs and allow you to get away a lot easier. It also pairs very, very well with the Rocket Shield. Mule Kick, the legendary perk from almost every other zombies map, is located right up the stairs after you come out of the rift. And then finally, the exit of this area, which is going to take you back up to the central area where we were, where Stamina Up is, is actually right by Stamina Up. The exit is right there. So you're going to want to shock all three of those things once you go into beast mode in order to exit the area, be able to buy both perks, and efficiently conquer this map. Alright guys, so we do really want to thank you all for watching. We hope this video was informative to you. We hope really it helps you a lot out in the game, saves you a lot of money, a lot of time, and a lot of deaths in Zombies Shadows of Evil because this is a fairly difficult map. Honestly, I do like it quite a bit, especially compared to some of the ones we got back on Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1. I do love almost every Zombies map that comes out, but I think they've done a great job with this one and I'm very impressed. Hopefully you all have a pretty easy time getting to all of these perks. You can pick them up pretty quickly, save a lot of money, and get to a very high round. If anyone gets very far or gets the Easter egg done or anything like that, please let us know but we will have guides out on all of those things here pretty soon in the near future so again i want to thank you all for watching hope you all enjoyed i hope you all have a good day and we will see you all next time back at a squad gaming